Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the Apple Watch Series 8. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 400 bucks. Now that's for 41 millimeters, aluminium case, Bluetooth only. Now if you want the Bluetooth only in 45 millimeters, that one's gonna run you 430 bucks. Now if you want Bluetooth and cellular, that one's gonna be 500 bucks for 41 millimeters and 530 bucks for 45 millimeters. Now the case comes in midnight, starlight, silver, and red. Now if you want the stainless steel version, that one starts at 699 bucks for 41 millimeters and 750 bucks for 45 millimeters. Now that case comes in gold, graphite, and silver. Now if you wanna spend some of that real money and get the Hermes version, that one starts at 1,409 bucks and goes all the way up to 1,759 bucks, depending on the size and the band. That one comes in stainless steel silver and space black. Now this one is the stainless steel gold version. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now the watch is IPX6 shock and dust resistant. It's 50 millimeters, ah, uh, 50 millimeters, 50 meters water resistant. You got a 1.9 inch OLED display that's with a resolution of 484 by 396. Now that's 326 for the PPI Patrol. Now you got glass on the front, sapphire crystal on the back, and a stainless steel frame. Now you got the Apple S8 chipset, okay? It's running Watch OS 9. You got one gig of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, a 308 milliamp battery. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, accelerometer, heart rate sensor, you got your ECG, your SpO2, that's your blood oxygen sensor, you got temperature sensing, you got sleep tracking, you got all your workout apps, you got the new crash detection feature, we'll talk about that in a minute, you got a compass, and ladies, you can now check your ovulation. Fellas, all right, some of y'all fellas be ovulating too, all right, if you're painting your nails and walking around with a purse, you might be ovulating, you can check that too. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love building. my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my calm down. Okay, here we go. Apple Watch Series 8 in gold. Now, on a side note, I did order Ultra. Okay, so the Ultra is going to come on the 23rd, so we'll get into that next weekend. Here we go. Nice, clean, white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Okay, let's see. Is there anything we need to see here? Series 8, gold stainless steel case, 45 millimeters. All right, 750 bucks. Okay, so let's check this one out. Inside. Okay, now, like I said, a thousand and one different bands to choose from. And one of the good things about the Apple Watch, all of the bands from your old watches will fit. Okay, so it does come. Now, I ordered the red band. Okay, because y'all know red is my favorite color. So we got the product red. Let's take a look at the actual watch. Rah. Okay, we got one more. Rah. Here it is. Now, look at that. A little gold on this one. Now, I usually get the aluminum case. But this year, I decided to uh, go for the Gusto and get the gold. <laughs> Check this one out. Let's get to see if we can get this off. Okay, look at this. Now, look at that gold trim. Now, I haven't bought a stainless steel one in a while. Here's my Series 7. Let's get and pop this off. I wanted to check the difference in the weight. And it does definitely feel a little bit heavier. Okay, so this one definitely feels more premium. And if you got the uh, gold iPhone, look how that's going to look. Okay, shout out to uh, Austin Powers, gold member. Okay, I like gold. This is kind of tough. Let's see what else you get. Okay, so you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. And this is going to be your wireless charger. Anger level's increasing. Okay, let me just calm down. Let me calm down. Do it slowly. <laughs> okay, so this is USB Type-C to this wireless charging pad. Slaps on just like that. Okay, so that's it for the box. Nice presentation. Nothing too fancy. I right, shoes you want to inspect this for quality. Do your thing. Now let's take a look at some of the different uh, watch bands that I got. First, we'll start off the one that came with it, the product red. 
Okay, product red. Okay, here we goes. All right. <laughs> I know, ain't really too much to talk about with these. You know, it is what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop this one on now. One of the things about the Apple Watch bands, all you got to do, flip them over. Going to slap it on. It locks into place. Make sure the silver side is down. Drops right into place just like that. Then we'll slap it on. Okay, so this is the product red band with the gold Apple Watch. I like this one. Okay, I like this one. Okay, now let's take a look at a few more bands and then we'll uh, walk through the OS. Next up, we got the Nike Watch band. Okay, now this is the one that I'm going to use for going to the gym. Let's get and check this one out. Okay, angle levels. Anger level's increasing. Do I need my unboxing knife? For okay, no, here it is. Okay. Nike watch. All right. I love this one. Now, y'all seen this one a million times on my channel. Okay. Let's drop it on real quick. Now, taking off the watch bands couldn't be any easier. Uh, easier. Easier. <laughs> couldn't be any. E I sounded like Mike Tyson just now. I couldn't be any easier. <laughs> Press the button on the back. Slap on the next one. Just like that. Flip it up, press that button. Okay, make sure the silver side is down. Locks in just like that. Now when I'm ready to go to the gym. Okay, now let's see, did I order the wrong size? Like a noob? Kind of, okay. Could have got a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. Just like that, rock out to the gym. Actually, I think I like the tighter version like this better. So I'm grinding in the gym. It's not going to slide around at all. You ready to take it off? Bong, just like that. Okay, so next up, this is going to be the product red. Okay, this is the sports loop. Let's try this one. Okay, here's how it looks. Has a little color tone to that. All right, shoes. Um, <laughs> shoes just excused itself off the table. I like that. Okay. Sport loop. So let's go ahead and slap this one on real quick. Now, <laughs> this one is kind of tricky. Let me see if I could do this right on the first time. Okay, product red branding. Slap that on. Okay, slap this side on. Bong, just like that. And when you're ready to wear the watch, you just put it on. You see it has Velcro underneath and just lock it in just like that now this is the one that I use the most of my series 6 okay same thing this is another product red version this is the one that came with my series 7 but I put it on the 6 and just for size comparison let's do that real quick let me show you how it looks okay real nice we'll go ahead and take this one off size comparison here's the 7 okay basically exactly the same size Here's the six. <laughs> now the six doesn't have the wraparound display, but basically all of the same functionality and the same thing with a series five. Now the series five is a little bit smaller. And one more side note, a lot of people have been asking me, where did I get this Gucci band from? This is not a Gucci band. This is a Fuji band. I just made from Fuji, okay? About $8 on Amazon. I'll leave the link for it up in the description, but it does have the Gucci colors. Now, if you want a real Gucci band, you could get something like this. I had this one custom made from a cat online called uh, on uh, Customized Depot. Okay, this is a real Gucci bag that he cut up and made a custom Apple Watch band. I think it was like about maybe 150 bucks, but it looks real nice. Okay, anyway, so this is the Sports Loop. We got one more band. Now this is the one that I'm excited about, the Gold Melanese Band. Okay, Gold Melanese Loop. Now, was that, um, did I say that correctly on these? I think that was the sports loop. I filed the box to the side of, I think that's the correct name of it though, but, um, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the Milanese loop. This is the one I'm going to rock pretty much daily. Okay, now look at this one. Now, I had this one. I haven't had one of these in a few years, but I actually love this one. So let's get him pop off the product red. Okay. 
We want to make sure we do this correctly. Again, just always look for the little silver side down. Slap that on. Okay. See how easy it is to take off your bands, though? You can literally switch bands every day right before you go somewhere. Slap this one on. Just hope I got the right size. Okay. Now, I do got a big wrist. You know what they say about guys with big wrists. We wear big watches, you know? Okay, the Melanese, Melanese loop. I love this one. Now look how this looks with the gold. This is fabulous right here. Now this is one y'all probably gonna see a lot in my videos because I'm probably gonna, gonna wear this one the most. Okay, Melanese, and again, has the little magnet, so it's gonna fit whatever size wrist you got. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'll set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I got the watch fully set up. Here's how it looks on my wrist. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm definitely feeling the gold. And like I said, if you got a gold iPhone, this is the perfect combination. Now, I know the main question everybody's going to ask me is if you got a Series 7, should you upgrade and get the Series 8? And the simple answer is no. It's basically the same watch. Now, there is a few upgrades, but not enough that I would say run out and get rid of your Series 7 and go pick up the 8. All right, it's going to feel like you bought the same watch twice. Now, let me show you some of the basic functions. Okay, so let me take it off. On the back, you can see it's protected with the sapphire crystal. There's all your sensors. Okay, on one side, you got your digital crown. Okay, and your multifunctional button. So let's hit the button once, that'll take you to your home screen. If you swipe over, this is how you change your watch faces. Now you can also press and hold, change different watch faces, and also edit them. Okay, so I can change the different color schemes right from the watch face. Exit out of that. Bong, just like that. Now if you hit this button again, this is gonna bring up all of your apps. Okay, so any app that I wanna get to, say I wanna open up a calculator, Press it just like that. Press it again, that'll take you back. Press it one more time, back to the home screen. Now if you press and hold, that's gonna activate Siri. What's the weather for today? It's currently clear and 77 degrees. Now there's a couple of different ways you can activate your Siri. When you're wearing the wrist, <laughs> wearing the wrist, when you're wearing the watch on your wrist, you can set it up to, now I actually turned this feature off, but I'll show you how it works. Okay, now I'm gonna have to open up the app to do that, but you can set it where when you wrist, uh, now this, I'm getting tongue tied. When you raise your wrist and start talking, Siri will be activated. Okay, now I don't like that one because a lot of times I like to raise my wrist fast and it automatically starts listening. You can also use voice. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Oh, let me turn my mom again. It's on the watch also. Hey Siri, what's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, matter of fact, let me see. Did I turn them? Let me let me take it to the app real quick. Let's go to Siri. Okay, look. So we got, hey Siri, raise to speak. All right, we'll try that again. Okay. What's the weather for tomorrow? Here's the forecast. All right, tomorrow. so that's been raised to speak. Hey Siri, what's the weather for tomorrow? Here's the weather tomorrow. Okay, so that's how it works. So three different ways you can open up your Siri. Now I'm gonna turn this uh, raise to speak off. Because like I said, if you leave that on, every time you raise up your wrist, your wrist, um, Siri will be listening. All right, so let's get and pop this off. Okay, I love the Melanie's uh, loop band. Okay, so that's the digital crown button. Next, multifunctional button, press it once. This is all your recently used apps. Okay, so say I was go to my settings, bang, just like that. Press the digital crown, go back home. If you press it twice, this will bring up your cards. All right, so if you want to use Apple Pay or you want to see all your cards, press it twice. Now, right now, I don't have anything set up on this one, but I'll press it twice on this one. Bang, you see my Geico, my Stubbs movie, all your cards that'll come up. Okay, so I don't have anything set up. Again, now, if you want to charge it, grab the wireless charger, slap it on the back, start charging right up. Okay, now, if you press both buttons together, that'll take a screenshot, and if you press and hold, Okay, this will bring up your medical ID, okay, your compass and your backtrack, and your SOS emergencies. 
Okay, so say you're about to get robbed, all you got to do, clandestinely, hold on your power button, swipe for SOS, then give up your goods, all right? <laughs> but everybody will know that um, you're getting got because it's going to call whoever you got set up, and you can have it set up to call the police if you want. Just like that. All right, so that's it for the uh, buttons and the functionality. Always on display, okay? Let me show you how that looks. Now, it's a little bit bright in here, so it's hard to see. But you're always on display, will be off. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay. Now, when you raise your wrist, it lights up. All right, so if you let it dim down. Okay. Let it dim. That's dim. You pick it up, it gets super bright. Okay, so that's your always on display. Now, let's take it over to the app. Okay. Now, from the app. You got all of your different watch faces. Now, these are the watch faces that I have already set up. So if I press one button, okay, let's go to, um, we don't have to customize this one. Color, temperature, set as current watch face. Hit the button, bang, now I got a new watch face. So you can do that from your watch, or if you happen to be scrolling through and you see, okay, maybe I want Mickey Mouse. Okay, set as current watch face. Now we got Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Let's see, does this, I haven't used this one so long. I thought he was supposed to tell the time. I forgot how to use the Mickey Mouse, but there's a way to make Mickey actually say the time. It's 10 or 7. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used that one so long, but it's, it's, that one is cute. Anyway, so you got all your different watch faces. Now, the one that I use the most is the uh, infograph. Again, you can customize all the different settings. Okay, you got... Customize your top right, bottom right, side dial, everything you want. Set it as the current watch face. Bang, there it is. All right, so let's hit back. Now, I'm going to try to go through this quick. You got all your notifications, okay? Leave all of those on. I got my notifications on for all of my apps because that's basically what I'm using the Apple Watch for, getting my notifications. Okay, now you got your app view. Now, if you don't like this grid view, say you don't even know the names of all of these apps, you might be new to the Apple ecosystem, Put it on list view. Then when you press the button, you have the actual names of the apps. Now, if you get, if you leave it on grid view, you're gonna have to know what each one is. Like, I already know this is in emojis. I know this is music. I know this is calendar, calculator, all that stuff. But if you don't know it by heart, put it on list view. You can also arrange it. Okay, so for general, all right, matter of fact, I forgot to show y'all one more thing. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, now from the actual watch, let's go through some of the basic functionality. If you swipe down, this is gonna be all your notifications, okay? You swipe up, you got your quick toggles. All right, so I can turn on my cellular service. Right now I got it on Wi-Fi only. Here's one of my favorite features, ping, okay? So you can't find your phone, you hit ping and your phone is gonna, uh, is gonna ring, okay? You're gonna use this feature a lot. Say you drop your phone somewhere. Oh, where's my phone at? I can't find it. There it is. Okay, and you can use, use reverse to find your watch. You got your battery percentage. Okay, you got do not disturb. You got theater mode, all right? That's theater mode. When you go to the movies, turn it on theater mode. It's gonna keep your screen nice and dull. You don't wanna be getting notifications in the movie theater because this watch is super bright. Don't be that douchebag getting notifications. You ever been to the movies and somebody's watch keeps going off? You can see it out your peripheral vision. I hate that, okay? Don't be that asshole. Put on theater mode. You got walkie-talkie. That's kind of like the old school Nextel walkie-talkies. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've used that feature maybe three or four times. People don't like it. People don't like being able to just hit you up like that. But if you got that kind of relationship with somebody, try the walkie-talkie feature out. It's pretty dope. Okay, so you got do not disturb. Turn off your notifications. Okay, so you got you got do not disturb and silent. So now do not disturb is gonna do not disturb. Silent, you're still gonna get your notifications. They're just gonna come in silently. Okay, you got a flashlight. It's basically just gonna make the screen extra bright. You can use it to find your paraphernalia in the car. You got airplane mode. That little water drop, if you go swimming with the watch, okay, and you get water in the speaker, turn on the water drop, use the digital crown. It's gonna push air out of the watch and uh, clean out your speakers. Okay, you got your AirPlay, you got your headphones volume, and you got your apps that support dynamic text. Okay, so leave all that stuff on, and you can also edit. Now, you do have school mode. 
Now, I'm not in school, so I deleted that one. But if you're in school, put it on school mode and uh, get some education. That's it for that. Swipe over the other way. Okay, change the clock faces. Bong, just like that. Swipe up, swipe down. Now, let's go to settings real quick from the watch. Okay, now, now we matter of fact, we could go back to the phone because the settings are the same on the phone and the watch. Okay, so where was we? We had general. Okay, let's see. Did we miss anything? Okay, orientation. So if you wear your watch on your left or your right wrist, set it up accordingly. Okay, auto punctuate, uh, punctuation. Return the clock. Okay, return the clock. I leave mine after two minutes. But you can put it to one hour or always. So this way, whatever you're doing, it's always going to go back to your clock, not your last app. Okay, screenshots. Nothing really to see there. Cellular, brightness and display. Okay, now look. You got always on display. You can turn that off. That's going to save you some battery. Your text size. I like to leave mine small. But if you're a blind bastard, turn it up and get bigger text size. Bold text. Okay. Wake wrist on raise. You need that on. Wake on digital crown rotation, leave that on, and the wake duration. I like to leave mine for 70 seconds, but you can leave it at 15 seconds if you want. Let's exit out of that. Bong. Accessibility. All right, so, okay, accessibility. Now, if you're hearing or visually impaired, okay, all your accessibility features, we already went through Siri. You got sound, uh, why well, I keep it in passcode? Okay, sound, now. That's maximum volume. You can put on headphone safety. You got haptic alerts, okay? Default or prominent, <laughs> okay? Okay, you got your crown haptics, all your vibrations, okay? That's what haptics mean. <laughs> you got your passcode, emergency SOS, okay? Hold the side button, okay? Call after a severe crash, leave that on. Fall detection. Now you can leave that always on or only doing workouts. Now, if you're young, you're not gonna need fall detection really like that. But when you get to my age, you're gonna wanna leave it always on because you never know. <laughs> I, you never know one extra glass of Hennessy, you might need that fall detection. And I'm gonna scroll slow. It has the different phone numbers that you could call. I already got mine set in, um, programmed already. Okay, anything else we need to see here? These are just basic settings. Nothing to really go through with that. Now, let's go to face gallery. Now, this is what I wanted to see. Let's see the new watch faces. Okay, so you got Metropolitan. Okay, that one looks cool. You got Lunar, Playtime, Astronomy, Portraits, and Modular. You got your different activity ones. You got Artists. Okay, here's all your Astronomy ones. Breathe. Now, I like the Breathe ones. And I like the Breathe app. They'll let you now and then. It'll let you know, take a minute and breathe. All right, smell the roses. California, okay. You got your chronographs, your chronograph pro. Now, I like these because uh, they kind of have the gold theme already pre installed. So let's hit add, okay. You got color, okay. Bunch of different color ones. Now, if you notice, since this is the gold Apple Watch, all of the uh, watch faces are coming in the stock color gold. Now, you can customize these if you want, but I like that touch. Here's contour. Okay, this was the big one. Find that shows the full range of the display. Let's go ahead and leave that on. Okay, you got count up. You got explorer. Fire and water. Now these look pretty dope too. Let's do let's do a fire and water. Add. Okay. Let's see how that one looks. Okay, that's your fire and water. Pretty dope. I give it up, y'all. Pretty dope. You got GMT. Okay, you got gradients. Let's see, GMT, a bunch of different ones. Gradient, okay, a lot of gradients. Infographs, okay, you need one of those. Kaleidoscopes. Liquid metal, now I remember from the seven, the liquid metal was pretty dope. Let's do a liquid metal this color. Here's the liquid metal. I like that, okay, I like that. You got lunar, okay. You got your emojis if you wanna get all cute. Okay, a bunch of different emojis. Meridian, Metropolitan, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Okay, <laughs> Mickey and Minnie, but Mickey Mouse was kind of cute. That was kind of cute. Modular, you got Modular Compact, bunch of different ones. Okay, Modular Duo, Motion. Okay, White Shoes wasn't impressed. Okay, I'm gonna get all these comments in a little while once I finish the video. Nike, now you need a few Nike watch faces. Let me go ahead and add the red one. 
Okay, so this way when I go to the gym and I throw on my red Nike watch band, you're gonna have to have a Nike watch face. Okay. Let's see, uh, Nike Bounce, okay, Nike Compact, Nike Digital. Shout out to Apple for not being stingy with the Nike Watch faces, because remember, you used to have to get the Nike Watch in order to get the Nike Watch faces. So now they're not being stingy. Okay, now this red one is pretty sick. Let's get and leave this one on too. Bong, that's a nice Nike one right there. Okay, uh, Nike Hybrid, Numeral. You see, there's a no shortage of watch faces. Okay, all the different colors in the rainbow. You got numeral more, photos, portraits, pride, okay? Pride ain't nothing wrong with that. Simple, Siri, y'all was waiting for a joke, but I, that, that's not me, man. I don't know why. <laughs> y'all was waiting for some kind of joke, but that's not me, man. I'm an equal opportunity uh, roaster, but, I'm, you know, we're taking it light today. Solar, okay, stripes, okay, time lapse, okay, Toy Story, okay, typographs. You got Unity. All right, if you want to be on some some black shit, you got Unity. Let's see. You got more Unity faces. You got Vapor. Like I said, I'm equal opportunity, man. You got World Time, Extra Large. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, for the Pride ones, let's see. Um, let's throw one on real quick. So, you know, because this is an all-inclusive channel over here. Bond, there it is. You got your rainbow, rainbow effects. Okay. Let's see. Now, I think the best one I've seen so far... I like that liquid metal, but I think I'm gonna rock with, I'm gonna rock with something gold and nice. All right, so let's do this. Let's do the count up, no, not count up. Let's do a chronograph gold. Bang, just like that. Keep it classy. All right, so that's all your watch faces and you got Discover, all right? So you can play with all of the new features. All right, so now let me show you, now I'm not gonna go through everything specifically, but let me show you some of my main uses for having an Apple Watch. All right, so my number one use for having an Apple Watch is making phone calls. This is the number one thing that I do. So if I'm in the car and I'm driving, or if I'm just chilling in the crib and I gotta make a phone call, we're gonna go to the phone app, okay? Let's go to keypad, and let's call up a diner and see what time they close. Okay, so we got 718-849-8400. Okay. Hit dial. Okay. We're going to get maximum volume. Hey, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, what time you guys close tonight? Never. You never close? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. So let me come and check y'all out. <laughs> All right, I like your style. All right, I'll be there in a minute. All right. All right, later. All right, she was mad cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, making phone calls. That is my number one use for the Apple Watch. Let's keep it moving. All right, so here's my second favorite use for having an Apple Watch, sending text messages, okay? Sending and receiving text messages. Simple as this. Okay, so let's go to messages. Okay, let's um, let's hit up Amaya. Okay, I'm gonna hit with the the year. Okay, and we hit send. Bang, just like that. Now, when I go to the keyboard, I can also use swipe. Okay, what's up? Hit send. Okay, I can also. Send an emoji, okay? I can send a little heart animation. Okay, now I got some of my uh, emoji stickers. Okay, that's the one I, I use the most. I can send that one. Okay, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna troll her right now with a hundred different uh, messages. But I'll go back. Okay, and I can also use voice. Are you feeling any better? We hit send. Okay, now I was talking too fast, but you get the idea. Sending and receiving text messages. Now I'll go home. Now if Amaya happens to text me back while I'm driving, I'm working out, whatever I do, I get a text message. All I gotta do, it'll come down to my notifications. I can just click on it, or I can just manually go to messages, 
and hit up with a message just like that. Let me go ahead and correct that. My bad, I'm using my Apple Watch. Okay, now, Maya just hit me back. Okay, I'm just feeling real tired. Okay, I'll have a little conversation. All right, girlie, get some sleep. Text me tomorrow. Bong, just like that. Now, the cool thing about this is I could be driving. I could be working out. I can have something in this hand and just use my pinky. Okay, way easier than having to keep whipping out your phone and sending messages. Okay, so text messaging. That is my second favorite use for the Apple Watch. All right, so another feature that I use is the wallet paying for products. Okay, so if I get to the store and I wanna buy something and they accept Apple Pay, when I get to the register, click it twice, my card will be installed already. Bang, pay just like that and keep it moving. Now, another feature that I use a lot is GPS turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Real simple to use, okay? I'm just gonna open up maps. Let's search a location. McDonald's. Of course, I gotta be a fat, a fat fuck. Okay, let's see, McDonald's 20 minutes. Let's do driving and we'll get the navigation, okay? Okay, six minutes from here. Let's go to this one. Starting route to McDonald's. You can ask Siri to report any crashes or hazards you see along the way. Just like that. Now, it actually opened up on my phone at the, automatically. But as I'm driving, I'll get turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Head so when, southwest on 105th see? Avenue, then turn right onto Princeton Street. You heard a little chime, bing, and a vibration at the same time. So if you got your music on in the car and you're driving along, you know, blasting some trap music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you, you can't hear your phone, or maybe you don't want to hear your phone, all you got to do is look over at your watch, and you'll get a little vibration to let you know when it's time to make that turn. Okay, so GPS, turn-by-turn -turn navigations. Okay, you see, and I just got a Gmail. I could get and check that immediately. All right, so that's another feature that I use, receiving and uh, replying to emails. Okay, just got a notification just like that. While my GPS is still running. Now here's another feature that I love, using my Apple Watch to control my music. Now I just opened up YouTube Music. Okay, you see it's open up on the phone, opened up on the watch. You got your album art, okay? I can hit play and pause, okay? I can raise or lower the volume. Uh, I can skip to the next song. Fine, just like that, skip to another song. Play and pause. I can also like this and add it right to my YouTube music library. Now this is pretty dope because it doesn't only work with Bluetooth speakers, it works if you're wearing headphones. So when you're in the gym and you're working out and you're on the bench and you're sweaty, you don't wanna have to keep touching your phone, you don't wanna have to keep touching your headphones, all you gotta do from your watch, you can skip to that next song, start your next set. Now I actually use this a lot for Bluetooth speakers. So when I'm jamming in the crib, I got my music on extra loud. Okay, hit pause. I can hit pause it, have a conversation with somebody as I'm walking around, okay? I don't have to be having my phone in my hand. I can get back to my music. If, if, if I gotta tell the truth. Long, just like that. And if you notice, it does have the actual album art. Let me show you what it looks like, okay? Here's the actual album art. How dope is that? Now here's one of the dopest features, accessing your camera from your watch. Now, when I did my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro review, everybody was like, oh, that feature is so sick. Guess what? You can do that on Apple Watches also. Here's how it works. You see, my phone is completely off. Now, I can use this to be a scumbag, or I can use it, say I'm on a date, and I want to take a nice selfie. I can prop my phone up just like this, okay? No hands on the phone. We're going to open up the camera app. It's going to automatically open up my phone. I can switch to the front or the rear camera and take some photos, just like that. Now, why is this scummy? Let me show you. Say you just got your phone on the table like this and you got it off and you got it facing somebody and they don't know. Right, it just looks like your phone is off on the dock and you're having a conversation and say somebody's uh, spilling their guts, telling you their whole life story, okay? And then maybe they're spilling some tea on somebody else. You can clandestinely go to your phone, 
open up the camera. You can take pictures and videos. Bong, just like that, without them knowing. Now I can turn this sound off if I want. Take my photos. But this is perfect for me catching photos of shoes. Bong, just like that. And I can review them right from the watch. So we hit back. Let's open the camera one more time. You do have some options. Okay, now if I want to, I can set a three second timer. So this will be perfect for if I'm on a date. So we'll do the three second timer. Okay, press the button. Bang, and I got a photo of shoes just like that. Okay, let's back out of that. We'll open the camera one more time. Let's go to settings. All right, so if you want to, you can have it automatically open to the front or the rear. Okay, you can have the flash on or off or auto. You can have live photos on, off, or auto, or auto, and HDR. But this is so dope and so scummy. Okay, fellas, don't be a scumbag. All right? You can have this set up clandestinely in your room. Okay, and somebody's like, I'll walk out the room. I want to change my clothes. Okay, cool. You walk out. You go stand by the door. Okay, you outside the door. You can open up the camera. Now, you don't actually have to take a picture. You can just watch. So you can use this for security. I can just watch. And this is perfect also if you got the cops doing some greasy stuff, okay? You can turn on video. You can have your camera low like this, but be using it as a viewfinder. So you don't want to be that person with your, the phone right in somebody's face. I'm recording you. I'm recording you. You can have the phone low key down by your pants pocket, adjust the angle up, and use your watch as a viewfinder. Pretty sick. Now here's another feature I don't really use too much, but you can, okay? You got all your workout apps. Now here goes that word again. You got a plethora of choices. You got outdoor cycle, outdoor walk, indoor walk, outdoor run, indoor run, indoor cycle, pool swims, okay? Open water swim, multi-sports, hiking, elliptical, stair stepper, rower. You got high intensity interval training, Functional strength training, core training, yoga, Pilates, dance. The list goes on and on and on. And you can add your own workouts. All right, so again, a plethora of workout apps. Now, you also got your breathe, okay? Set that app to remind you to breathe. You got the weather, okay? You can check that at your leisure. You got your calendar, calculator. Let's try um, heart rate. Okay, now, my heart rate is always a little bit higher than usual right now. So, 108, because I'm in the middle of shooting a live video, so that's a little bit more stressful. Okay, but my resting rate was 87, which is pretty epic for my age. Okay, okay, so this is your heart rate. Okay, now, people always ask me, does it work? If you got a lot of, a lot of tattoos, the answer is yes. Okay, so you got your heart rate sensor. Now, as far as the new timer, the, um, the uh, new... They got a time on uh, the new uh, sensors, okay? The new tracking sensor. That one, the temperature sensor, that one is passive, okay? So you can't just check your temperature like that. You're gonna have to sleep with the watch on. Same thing with the sleep tracking. Personally, I can't sleep, especially with this. I can't sleep with a big heavy watch on, so I never use sleep tracking, and I'm never gonna use some of these new ones that you're gonna have to actually sleep with it on. So, but you have them on deck if you need to. Let's see, is there anything else we need to see? You got a compass. Okay, I just got a notification. Okay, allow. Okay, so let's check the compass. Okay, so this is kind of cool. You get lost somewhere. Okay, or if you have to give somebody some directions. Okay, head north, head west, head southwest. Okay, so you got a compass. You got all your notes, all your emails. Okay, your maps, music. You got Shazam. And keep in mind, you can add as many apps as you want. Okay, you got voice memos. I like this one too. Remind me to get White Shoes some new food. All right, because she's been eating the same shit every day. Little voice memos, and, I, and every now and then I'll check and be like, okay, let me see what I had to remind myself of. Okay. This is going to be your ECGs. Okay. Let's try this out. Whole thing on the crown. Okay, now we're gonna have to wait 30 seconds. All right, so I didn't want y'all to have to wait the full 30 seconds, but I just held my finger. You see my uh, BPM went back to 89, and I got a sinus rhythm. 
Now, somebody who used to work as a paramedic, a sinus rhythm means normal. Okay, now if it was irregular, that'd be something totally different, but sinus means normal. Okay, so I got a normal heart rate. And just a little trivia right now, a little side note. If you ever use a defibrillator, you see um, a portable AED, you cannot shock somebody who has a sinus rhythm. So whether you know if the sinus is good or bad, it doesn't matter. You can't shock somebody with a sinus rhythm. So that's all you need to know. When you see the word sinus, that means you're, you're okay. You got another couple of hours. <laughs> you have to keep checking. Anyway, let's see. Is there anything else we need to see here? Uh, let's see. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, of course, you got all the standard apps. You got Messenger and you got Apple Music. Go crazy. Okay, here's my Apple Music right here. I was listening to some 50. Okay, I can play my music right now. You see, I got my Beats Fit Pro, Beats Solo, any one of these different devices. I can just connect right from my watch and start playing music. So let's kind of wrap this up. Let me take this off. Overall, fresh out of the box on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Apple Watch Series 8 a major, major, major go if you like the series 7 okay you're gonna love the series 8 it's the same thing but like i said earlier i recommend if you got the 7 just keep it you might want to wait for the ultra or maybe wait for the 9 if you got a 7 and you upgrade to the 8 you're not going to really notice any difference now if you got the 6 okay if you got the 6 you're going to want to upgrade because the 7 and the 8 do have a bigger display a brighter display and the wraparound display Okay, so if you had the five, okay, the five, it just feels a little bit smaller now. So if you had the five or the six, I would say upgrade. But if you had the seven, you're good to go. Now, if you're wondering which one should you get, aluminum or stainless steel, it's not that much of a difference, okay, as far as the build quality. But the uh, stainless steel definitely has a heavier feel to it and a more premium feel to it. Other than that, though, Pretty much identical. I pretty much identical. Now I'm gonna change this band in a minute and slap on one of my other ones. But you see for yourself, okay? The Melanese band is so epic and the gold is so epic. Anyway, this is the Apple Watch Series 8. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And on the 23rd, I'm getting the Ultra and we'll do the same thing with that one also. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in that. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and roll. Your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. 
a bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.